I'm Sarah Lebowski, and I'm the Vice President of the Highlands Ranch Historical Society in charge of programs. Behind the camera is Paul McKay, and he is in charge of community relations, community outreach, and logistics. We also have Nancy Linson Bigler with us today from the Highlands Ranch Historical Society, and Nancy does the tours, and she is in charge of the the. Oh what is your title here? <laughs> I don't know. About, about the anniversary committee. Memory. She's in charge of the anniversary <laughs> committee for the Highlands Ranch Historical Society for the 40th anniversary of Highlands Ranch. Okay. I'd like to introduce you to Jim Teffer. And if Teffer sounds familiar, you may uh, have been to Teffer Park in Highlands Ranch. We also have Diane. Dykstra, who was a Tepper. <laughs> Dykstra, and who Forrest. is Jim's, Jim's daughter and son-in-law, Forrest Dykstra. Okay. Jim planned Mission Viejo in California. When the company was purchased by Philip Morris, they sent him to Aurora to do a community. While here, he heard the Phipps property was for sale. After closing, uh, excuse me, uh, for sale, Mission Viejo purchased it, the property. After the closing, Jim received the keys to what is now the Highlands Ranch Mansion and was told, Jim, it's all yours. 22,000 acres to develop. This was in 1976. The master plan community of Highlands Ranch was built with honesty and integrity as its goal. Innovation, vision, hiring employees, planning, working through the public and official resistance, zoning, permits, infrastructure, water, sewer, utilities, roads, environmental sensitive landscaping, providing for schools, stores, churches, and parks, listening to people, providing what they wanted, marketing. And the end result was a community with all the amenities that people like. A great place to live, work, learn, worship, play, and shop with 15,000 acres of open space. The first home was sold in 1981. Okay. Um, actually, um, my sister, who isn't here, they were the second people to move into Highlands Ranch after the Scotts, Bill and Kate. And I'd like to just mention that I know Dad's goal at the very beginning of all of this, and Phil Riley's as well, was always to plan for families, first and foremost. And I think it's, it's good to note that he has his children, his grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Almost all of us live here on, on the ranch still today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. May I add, add something? Or is it, um, oh, you just have to sit quietly. Yes. Okay. Sure. All right. For us. For us. So, you know, it's been great living here for, for all the years that we have and see the community that, that Jim planned uh, to come to fruition. Uh, we've got over 98,000 residents, multiple businesses, and like Sarah mentioned, the parks and trails and, and landscaping and churches and, and retail and the office park has just, just been a great um, culmination of the vision that Jim had 40 plus years ago. Okay. Celebrating the 40th anniversary of Highlands Ranch, it is our honor to present this plaque to you. You want to turn it around, please? Okay, now read it. <laughs> I'll be happy to. So the Highlands Ranch Historical Society, this is an Historical Appreciation Achievement Award, our very first that we've ever issued. And it's presented to James G. Teffer, President, Colorado Division, Mission Viejo Company, for outstanding vision, performance, and leadership in the development of Highlands Ranch, 1976 to 1988, 
and it's presented by the Highlands Ranch Historical Society on the 40th anniversary of Highlands Ranch, which is 2021. So we're going from 1981, when the first homes, first people moved here, to today, 2021. And we should present it to you, Jill. Thank you so I much. Want no, thank you. And now, would Jim, would you please just say a few words? I can't, I'm speechless. No, I'm not I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, you know, I accept these things on behalf of not me. There were so many people that, uh, that came with me, came over here on a risk. There was Phil Riley and me, and we came down, um, uh, what is it, County Mayor Road, and uh, he gave me the keys after we closed escrow, and he said, Jim, it's all yours, I'll see you. And he got on an airplane and went back to California. I didn't see him for a long time. But b developing a staff with nobody was very difficult. But I had a caliber of people that were just exquisite. And so anyway, we um, took, the, you know, on, on so many things, I, I could write a book this thick of, of the things that have happened uh, to me personally and to uh, the things that happened here, of, ca of catching people that were thinking we were building an underground city. You know, they, were th they thought for sure we were building an underground city. And uh, I think there ended up more guys in jail and <laughs> they were developing the police. But anyway, it was a... Um, well, a I, Jim, we thank you very much. We don't have very much time. I would like to say that uh, to our friends in, um, at Windcrest, that Jim is full of stories. He has wonderful, wonderful stories. So give him a call. Oh, gee. Yeah, thank you. And thank you all for being here. I don't have that many stories, but. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me get it. Thank you all for being here, and we appreciate all that you have done. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Historical I, Society, I, Nancy, isn't there Sarah, Paul, everyone. Can I say just a few things? No, no, that's okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I just know we have a limited amount of time. Yeah, the only thing, good. okay, the only thing I was going to say was um, when we were talking in the car um, coming back today, we were talking about how um, Dad has had vision since he was a young boy um, when he was an Eagle Scout. And he would also take me out when I was a little kid, and then his grandsons out. And he used to look at the clouds and say, what do you see up there? What do you see? You know, and we would build cities and all kinds of things. And he said that he could see things, um, not, not like woo visiony things, but he could picture things. And so his creativity and his imagination helped develop both Mission Viejo Company, or Mission Viejo, California, and then Highlands Ranch. And, um, and so I think if there was nothing else that um, I could say about, about Dad's contr contribution to this world, if you will, it was um, that he was given, he was blessed with the opportunity by Phil and um, Don Bren to step in and help develop not one, but probably three, at least three different communities, four actually, if you want to count Arizona, which nobody talks about, but, <laughs> but all that to say. It's because he had, he was blessed with this, this ability to dream. And the best part about it is that he got other people on board with him that were Art Cook and some of the most wonderful people that you've ever met that could come alongside of him and help those dreams become real. Mm -hmm. And so um, his legacy, if you will, I think would be to, to dream big and um, and take opportunities when you can, and uh, enjoy Highlands Ranch and you know the things that they always were their their goal his and Phil's goal was always for family family family, and I think that they they achieved. And I first started dating in, in 1981, and and she was living here in Highlands Ranch um, uh, down near uh, South Park and Broadway. I remember driving down Broadway, and here's this six lane road with like three cars on it, and thinking. What in the world is going to happen here? But as as we're at 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 a point, 40 years later, you can look at the planning and and realize that the planning that's put in this community is is one of the great things that makes Highlands Ranch what it is today. Right. 
And you did you did do you a lot of the, the talk at the mansion, and people can have access. And this is because that's on your website, isn't it? Yeah. No, but I, I just think you can never accomplish anything unless you have real competent people. And I've reached out and I've tried finding the best we could. And fortunately, we ended up with a great district, and we found great employees. And for the most part, everyone were very a lot of integrity and so forth. I could tell you stories that would back in California the okay. raise it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right.